Right here, above the waist, are the ribs. In Korean, they are called kalbi. So we will be using this delicious kalbi to make a dorso cheese kalbi bap. Chop the ribs into smaller pieces. First, pour in some soy sauce. One, two, three spoon. Add some sugar. A little pepper. And diced garlic. Mix that all together. Okay, done. Put the ribs into a pan and stir fry. So now I will add ginger. This will help reduce odor from the meat. Let's add water. So if you have time, simmer for 20 more minutes to soften the meat. Next, chop the green onion. Keep the potatoes. Carrot! Ja. Now time for onions. The vegetables taste even better when they're stir-fried. Go, go! Let's add some salt. This is a dolsot or stone bowl. You can find it on many Korean tables. It's really good for keeping your food warm throughout the meal. Put the washed rice into the dolsot. If you don't have one, any pot will do. Place the boiled kalbi on top of the rice and cook it. While steaming, open the lid with the heat still on and add the vegetables and cheese. Okay, let's wait one or two more minutes. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So now let's take a look at how the dolsot has warmed up our dolsot cheese kalbi bap. Wow. I can really feel the heat of the dolsot on my hands. Trust me, you don't want to miss that out. Kimchi! Kimchi is not only the word you say when taking selfies, it's also one of the most healthiest food in the world. I am going to show you how to make a delicious side dish with kimchi. Are you guys ready? Beat an egg in a bowl. You have to stir it thoroughly to make soft, moist geran mari without any holes. Now, we are going to run the eggs received to make it softer. Just like this. Sprinkle some salt and add two tablespoons of water. The water makes the egg more moist. Okay, we're done with the eggs. So now let's prepare the other vegetables.
Mix it, mix it. Stir all the ingredients into the egg mixture. Okay, now let's prepare the kimchi. So first, we're gonna scrape off any extra seasoning between the leaves, like that. Cut the cabbage in half the long way and chop into six slices. Put the kimchi in a bowl and mix in sesame oil and sugar. Sprinkle red chili powder and black sesame seeds on top. It smells actually good. Oil and heat a pan, then lower the heat to a low medium. Pour one third of the egg mixture into the pan. If you pour little by little, the layers make the omelette thicker and prettier. Shake the pan. When the egg doesn't shake, add the kimchi. When the edges are cooked, you have to start walling. If you wait too long, the omelette won't hold together. One, two, three, four, okay! Press lightly as you roll and make a rectangular shape. When you're done rolling, bring down the heat and wait for the egg to rise a bit. You don't need to flip it. We're done! Let's see how it turned out. eat that. <laughs> Most omelettes are made with milk, but ours had water instead, and the kimchi adds a really special taste. Why don't you try it yourself? Et bon appétit, bien sûr!